So in this video, I'm going to talk about the exact steps of radical halogenation of alkanes. And so, as discussed in the previous video, you need heat or light to begin the reaction. And so, we'll use two things. We'll use C, H, those are H's, and then a Cl2. So, first step is initiation. Initiation. And so, in this step, you form radical, form a radical through homolytic cleavage. And so what's going to happen is here the halogen, Cl2, is going to undergo, it's going to cleave. And so what's going to happen is you have this lone pair is there. And so you add heat for this example. You could add light. And so what's going to happen is one electron is going to go to each respective pair. And you're going to end with two chlorine free radicals and notice they still are neutral but they do not have an octet and so that's the first step is initiation propagation is the next step and so this is two steps and so a radical is consumed and another is made. And so we'll have the chlorine radical, which is highly reactive, and the methane and so what's going to happen is one of these electrons is going to come here one from that bond goes and meets up and then another one another electron from that bond goes back on the carbon so then what you have left is HCl from the bond forming right there as well as another free radical right there so that's the free radical and so one thing to remember for uh, propagation steps is it always makes another free radical so then next you take this free radical and that's the second step of the um, propagation so propagation has two steps so the next step would be to take this we'll draw it on the next page and then you react that with the chlorine gas And so the same thing is going to happen. One electron is going to go there. One is going to go form the bond. And so what you're going to end up with is H, C, H, H, and then Cl there, as well as another chlorine free radical. And then that free radical is, it can repeat the whole process again, which takes off an H from the CH4 and it'll create more free radicals and essentially in the propagation steps you create both of the products and so the two things that you produce for example this right here and back on the other page HCl 
those are the two products produced from this whole overall reaction. And so if you want to ever check if you did it right, that's something to remember. And then finally, the third step is termination. And it's pretty simple. It's just the consumption of two radicals. So two radicals react to make a neutral molecule. So termination steps can occur at the end of the reaction, but sometimes they are undesired, but they're unavoidable. And so, for example, the free radicals that we had were Cl as well as CH3 and the free radical there. And so you can combine them however many, however many ways you want. There are three ways. You add Cl and Cl. You form Cl2. Um, you add CH3 plus Cl, you get this, and then if you add two CH3s together, I just didn't want to draw out the whole thing, you'll get something, you'll get this. And so termination steps, um, it's just essentially just reaction of two radicals to form a neutral molecule. It's important to remember that in this step, no radical is going to form again. This is how it differs from the propagation and initiation steps. And so I hope you found, found this video helpful. If you did, please like it and share it with your friends.